I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options, I can pass that bitch like Stockton. Just joshing, I'm spending this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. Hi guys, welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. I am your reader, one. All right, so I want to say happy birthday and welcome everyone to Aries season. Aries squad. Aries are very interesting little characters. I don't know that much about them per se. Only uh, probably engaged with two prominent ones in my life and um, both are an absolute experience okay so we're going to do a tarot spread specifically for Aries season it's going to be a three card spread and I'm also going to pull an oracle card for you which has already jumped out let you know what that is in a second um, so three card spread the first card will represent where I am leading in my life so where are you leading in your life Second card will represent what part of my life still needs to bloom. So um, that would be the things that you need to work on. And then the third card will represent the overall energy surrounding you right now. Right? Because we want to know what's going on right now. All right. Man. So I have your Oracle card. And what came out is I converse with awareness. Hmm. Okay. I don't know how that's going to work out. I don't want my card to burn. Anyway. Okay, so I converse with awareness, right? Let me see. I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. And I'm going to get the Oracle book for a little bit of background because I want to give you the best that I got. So I'm going to look it up. I don't know what number is what. Let's see. One second. I mean, technically, I know what it means, but I want to, um, Give you. I don't know if that was it. Do, do, do. Still can't find it. Okay, here it is. All right, I converse with awareness. Conversation is an art form all in its own, a balancing act of question and answer, inquiry and insight, listening and hearing all at once. Okay. Um. Emotions are a universal language, and how our emotions affect conversations can either produce intimacy or push others away. Sarah Wealth, Sarah Self Awareness is a necessity for a discipline of the evolutionary dialogue. I'm just put, I'm just picking the highlights. All right. Greet others how you'd like to be greeted in a sense that corresponds with the golden rule of treating others as you'd like to be treated. Peace is often then found in equal wishes for being free of disturbance, aligned with kindness and well wishes. Let me run that back to you again because it was important. Oh, I like that. Hello in Arabic is assalamu alaikum, a greeting which means peace be unto you, usually met with walaika salam, meaning and unto you, peace. Greeting others how you want to be greeted in a sense corresponds with the golden rule of treating others as you'd like to be treated. Peace is then found in equal wishes for being free of disturbance, aligned with kindness and well wishes. Okay. Wishing well and meaning well can at times be lost in translation when our awareness slips away and we are asleep to how it may affect those we talk to or at. Wow. Yeah, that pretty much hits the nail on the forehead, Aries. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, if you're being um, 
translucent and transparent about it, right? So converse with awareness of how your words may affect other people. The, um, I don't know, it, it, it really can be hard because you just never know what one thing is going to, you know, hit that trigger in another person um, and be the end all or be all or the beginning, you know, of a big ill or a big, you know, a big deal or a big issue, you know, but one thing these current times are teaching us is to be aware, to be present, all right? And hopefully at least, you know, within our interpersonal relationships and those that, you know, if we happen to encounter going out into the world, hopefully the way we communicate and the way we see people and the way we show up present in our relationships will be a lot kinder, nicer, um, and, and, and and just more lucid, right? Just just presence. Just just be be present and be aware and use the tool and use the tools that you have you know, at your disposal, you are Aries natural leaders. You know what I mean? Like you, I, I, I see Aries and I just think of, you know, standing up tall, shoulders back, you know, head to the sun uh, against the grain, you know, just a full stance of power. Um, but at the same time, it's how heavy is your hand? When you unleash that power, the, the, the choice of the words and the tone um, in which you display them, how they come across to others. Are you sending rose petals or are you sending AK bullets? You know what I mean? So that's what this means is to, from henceforth, be more aware of, of how you interact with others um, in your circles and, 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 and be more in tune to other people people that you interact with um kitten gloves that's what i heard spirit say kitten gloves aries kitten gloves during um aries season all right all right amen i like that i like that so we are going on to your aries seasonal spread um three card spread so the first two cards out we have the Queen of Wands, which is representing where am I leading in life? Mm, okay, that's a good sign. Number two, what part of my life still needs to bloom? We've got the world card. Let me see. I don't know if they're going to stand up. I ain't going to worry too much about it. Okay. And then overall energy surrounding me now. All right, so number one, where am I leading in life? Queen of Wands. So what that tells me is that you have been a master of your fate. You don't let things just happen to you. You happen to the world. That's what I get this energy from this Queen of Wands, right? You decide what you want and you make it materialize. Sometimes by any means necessary. And again, that could be where you have that um, friendly fire and those um, innocent casualties in your interactions, right? But all in all, your boss, your fury, your, your passionate, your goal oriented. You like to cross your T's and dot your I's. All right. Third card, overall energy, the chariot. And I'll do some clarification if I feel I need to. Um, you're goal oriented. You cross your T's. You dot your I's. You've been looking into the nooks and crannies. You know you're handling your business, and that's where you are leading in life. Being that strength, being that resilience for others, being the one that people can go to. See the cat there for advice. You build others up, you show them how to win, and you in turn also do some winning. All right, so the second card out is the world. What part of my life still needs to bloom? All right, well, let me clarify that. Let's see. Let's see, we got the judgment card. 
So with the judgment card here, you may, in some things, despite the fact that you have, you know, assertiveness, 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 self-assurance, confidence, and all those things that Aries are known for, sometimes you can be a little wishy-washy. And I'm, I'm, um, that's the energy I'm getting from this card in this cert certain circumstance, right? What part of my life needs to bloom, all right? The part that needs to bloom is, is you also trusting your innate intuition, right? Because as confident as you can be, there are times when you feel vulnerable. There are times when you may feel incapable of making decisions. Okay? Especially when things get, you know, I say it's, it's hot in the kitchen. Like right now, the world is pretty hot in the damn kitchen. <laughs> You know what I mean? So you, while you're a person that usually has everything in order and in line, there's still some corner of, of, of doubt. It's like, did I do this right? Did I, did I handle this? Should I did, you know, should I have done this? Should I have done that? You know, kind of, kind of a back and forth. You still go forward and you make your decisions and you move forward with whatever intentions that you set, but still there may be a need to change, you know, how much you know you throw that ball of indecision back and forth before you finally come to a conclusion you know so spirit is saying that you need to be quick about it once you have that inclination once you have that notion it's like okay cool no back and forth with it make your decision stand on it and and move whatever way you need to move, world card, whatever the fallout's going to be. Trust in your decisions, trust in your judgments. And deal with the fallout, however the cards, you know, may lay. But you're competent and you're capable. Okay? Third card out is the chariot. The overall en energy surrounding you now. Yeah. Everything is fast moving, a fast pace. It's go time, period. Period. I've said this in many other readings, you know, before you can even get, you know, adjusted or acclimated to whatever news comes about, something else comes. Like five minutes later, you know, between the TV and Twitter and everything else and your relatives and, you know, I heard this and that being said, you know, you, you, you really have no time to, to catch your balance. So what do you got to do? You got to ride that fucking wave. Just got to ride. Just got to ride it. And be determined and know that regardless of what the turnout is, you'll be okay. Because you trust yourself to make accurate decisions for yourself and for your family. So you may be in a spirit of fine tweaking and fine tuning. Yeah. Knight of Wands. You're in action. Finalizing the details, right? Looking at your blind spots. Making those judgment calls. And moving forward. With action. Whatever, whatever your decisions are. That's at family, that's at friends, that's that's everywhere. You're making those calls, those tough calls. But again, spirit says, spirit says, I converse with awareness, kitten gloves, when you go out and you set your agenda, Aries. Okay? Because everybody can't handle crisis like you do. Everybody can't handle what's going on, you know, like you. You're much respected for your leadership skills and, and how you get others, how you can, you have the ability to lead others and others look to you for guidance. But in these days to come, while others are seeking your leadership and your guidance and, and that comfort, comfort, again, be aware, be present. Really think, 
you know, before you speak, when you're interacting with each other, consider the person's current state, where their mind may be. Make allowances. Okay? Grace. That's what I heard from spirit. Grace and mercy. Yes. And you also know that you're going to be doing a majority of the heavy lifting. I'll tell you that right now, Aries. You're doing the heavy lifting. So go ahead and put your boots on, whatever you need to do. All right. It may be frustrating. It may be annoying. You may always feel like, oh, my God, I'm the one that always carries a load. I'm the blah, blah, blah. We don't have time for it, Aries. Okay. This is what spirit is saying. This is how your world is changing. And this is the judgment call that's being made. So you're being called to stand up. But while you're doing that, while you're in that position of leadership and power for your family, for your little nucleus, handle with care is what Spirit says. Handle with care. Okay? That's what I'm going to title this video. All right? Aries, I really hope you enjoyed your reading. Love you so much, Bunches. Make sure if you love this, you share, like, subscribe with others, tag them, put the word out. Subscribe here to Instagram and also the YouTube page if I want over 10 minutes. And then also if you love me, you love this reading, please, you guys, go to my bio and show your support by dropping a love donation via Cash App, via PayPal. Any amount, even if it's a dollar, is, is appreciated because your girl needs to work so I appreciate you guys supporting my art supporting my craft and everything else that I do sending you love light and strength Aries you've got this I'm so proud of you already and you just go out there and you just kick ass in the middle of a global crisis that's what you're called for that's what you've been getting given all those qualities and characteristics for and I'm looking forward to seeing you shine all right I'd be blessed. One.